Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we are joined once again by Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob, hello. Hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And today, Dr. Bob is going to show us something with a dinosaur theme, or a couple of things, in fact. Yes. Now, you're going to be talking, as we always do with you, about adding value. Yes. You're a big fan Love it. of yeah. adding value and air filling. What, what happens? You were talking about air filling earlier on and how people come back to you. Why? Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, what it is is that when you do a helium filled plume, they last quite a while. Mm. But when you're doing something air filled, you're adding twice as much value by creating a completely unique design, yeah. but it's lasting three times as long, yeah. sometimes longer than that. So people get it, they yeah, think, they oh, get it, they his balloons it must be better, yeah, that's right. and so they come back to you again yeah. and again. And you're saving money. Not oh, yeah, anything. yeah, but it's, it's adding your reputation as well, yeah. and your repertoire. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's constant. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, that's a good reason to be doing it. Yeah. So, what are you going to show us today with, right. with, well, with we've, dinosaurs? Right. Well, we've got we've got um, the North Star um, dinosaur here, our T okay. Rex. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you took your hand off earlier on, didn't I know, you? Oh, yeah. It's, it's quite sharp teeth. Yeah. Um, really. We've got one natural attach attaching point here. I was just yeah. going to show you a another because it's been done in Bloom Basics. Do you think? I think we've done a BMTV balloon basics on an attachment, but we might not have done. I lose track okay. now. Okay, Bob. So what we're going to do is I've um, ribbon tied and basically stretched all the, the air out of the balloon. Yeah. Made it flat and tied a knot in it. And what we do is stretch that over. And then we take some of the balloon stretchy tape. Very sticky balloon stretchy tape. Yeah. Looks of it. Put it across here. And then we create two other pieces horizontal whoops into a h shape Press them hard like so there we are and then we can press them down there we go and then we can tie them nice and tightly there so we got now we've got two attachments yeah okay cool. yeah that's very simple so we're just moving out the way um as we prepared earlier, I've got this one here, and I've used the agates. I kept it plain, but we can obviously use the orange and other yeah, colours as these well. These are awesome balloons. They I are. love these. I know they are a little bit more expensive, but I think they're brilliant. Well, they, they create texture and a bit more diversity to the, the design yeah. itself. Yeah. I, lo I love using them. I love them double stuffed in a clear as well, because yeah, then you've nice. got the shiny. Yeah. It's like a pebble effect. Yeah. But yeah. This well, is this is the sort of thing I'm trying to create, a rocky effect, if yeah. you like. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So that's pretty standard. That's your, yeah, your standard. standard base. We've shown how to make clusters before. There's a BMTV balloon basics on that. Yeah. Um, so that's basically what that yeah. is. No, we can make a six balloon cluster if we wanted to. Okay. But I wanted to do something slightly different. So what I've done is tied these together. I've tied the knots on the end there and created a stretchy piece. Yeah. I'm just going to pull it in here and then wrap that around to lock it in position. And it's not quite round. It's oblong. Mm. And then to stop them from popping up like this, which wouldn't hurt anyway, is I'm just going to stick another, these I think about three and a half inch. Yeah. These are eight inch and that's four and a half inch. And again, do the same thing in here. It drops it down and creates a nice different it's just a style. A different style, different shape yeah. of base. I really like that. And it can, you can do lots of things with this. I tend to use these for Christmas time as well. So we've got our dinosaur. And then what we can do then is put him inside, lock him in this side, and then do the same. Cut that piece off there. And there we go, our basic design with our so dinosaur. So instead of just helium filling it, yeah. This is going to be cheaper because it's going to here. stand around for a long time, and it's going to stand around for a long time. And that, just in itself, is perfect. That's, it is. that's great. But that's not very Doctor Bobbish. No. Well, this this is the uh, extinction of dinosaurs, where there's nothing about no color, nothing. Absolutely. So I thought, you know, you could add some color to this, like rocks, lava, etc. Okay. Okay. So how, how do we do that? Should we? Have you got something else? I, I've got something else to show us instead. Okay. If that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. I thought we'd just give you some ideas, but I wanted to do something a bit more colourful. Okay. We're going for the same thing again. Mm -hmm. And we've already prepared this one. 
lock them into place. And obviously there is a weight on the bottom of here yep. to hold it in position. Now these ones are popping up, but we need a dinosaur. Okay. And we have one here already. So what kind of dinosaur is that? This is, oh, well, we're, we're, we're testing ourselves now, I, aren't I, we? I'm, I'm going to call that a Bluosaurus. 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 Okay, then. Bluosaurus. I don't know what it's called. I used to know all sorts of them, but age, see. I'm just going to tidy this up. It's, it's, it's close in shape to a Brontosaurus. Could be. I don't, I don't know. Or a Bluonosaurus, isn't it? A Bluonosaurus. Okay. Yeah. Let's call it that. Call it a blue. Whoops. A blue Bluonosaurus. A blue Bluonosaurus. Yeah. He did see us, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Bit corny that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. The stretchy is stuck to me. Just tidying that bit up. Could use a bit of sellotape. Okay. Okay. So we're going to attach him in here for the minute using our connection points on that side whoops one on this side we can use these to help us put things in I'm going to cut that piece off there avoiding popping the balloons there we go Again, we've got a, a very simple design. So at the moment, that's, that's pretty much where it was at with yep, the other one. That's right. Okay. So we'll put this one out the way for a moment. Oh, okay. And what we're going to do, if you wouldn't mind bringing the, uh, the brown 350Q. Just the one? Ended, and the green, the green ones. This is one we prepared earlier. I put a cluster of four on the end there. Yep. And then we've got an attachment point here. And what we're going to do is create a small bubble on the top, like so. Oops. Here we go. With all that there, it makes it nice and soft. And I can use that to tie it in. There we go. So there we are. Stand it ready. And all I've done here is inflated, is it five? One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. 260 cues. Okay. Tie them at the end, and all I'm going to do is stretch them like so, fold them in half, put my hand in there, and twist them around. Whoop! That was clever. Oh, I will have to do another one in a minute. So we'll try that again. It's live TV. It does happen. So we do this, and then what I'm going to do is gently squeeze from one end, making the stuff soft there and distorting it. Same on this side, squeeze forward and distort it. Ah. And then we're just going to bring it in and twist it round each other, like so, and repeat. So is this a prehistoric palm tree or something It is like that? indeed, a very oh. tall prehistoric palm tree. And then again, as you can see, although I prepared these earlier, it's a reasonably quick design to make. Yeah. Would you like to have a go, Doug? Um, no. Greg? Who's Doug? I don't know. I don't know who Doug is. <laughs> Doug myself went into a hole then, didn't I? <laughs> hey! Oh, they're coming thick and strong today, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. I'll never be a comedian anyway, I know that. <laughs> Use all the squeaking, but that's one of the game. There we go. You can also make a butterfly this way as well. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. I believe you showed that one recently as well. Well, if you go on the fundamentals course, you'll you'll you, you might see how to do that. Yeah. I don't think you need to come on a fundamentals course. Unless of course you're running a fundamentals oh, course. Oh yes, indeed. Yeah. Which may be happening soon. May well be happening very soon. There we go. And there is our power tree. That's cool. Although we've lost one, we're still looking pretty good there. Yeah, aren't we? I mean, you've no. got as many or as few as you like, I guess. Obviously, I brought the 646 here to show you the different thicknesses and yeah. what you can create to add them onto the end of there. Yeah. Okay. But I, I like the, the thinness of this because oh, so it, it shows the okay. size of the actual. Um, 
The dinosaur. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to tie that into here. And then we'll bring our dinosaur up. We also got the um, the Qualitex six pack dinosaur print as well, haven't we? Yeah. So yeah. we can add into this. So what I'm going to do now is just pull that in nice and tight, and lock it in position. Whoops, we did lost that then. Put that off there. So you're not tying that, you're just, just, just wrapping twisting it, it into place. Yeah, please, yep. Okay, and if you wouldn't mind getting me there one, please, Greg. There you go. There you go. And then we'll do the same on this side. Even considering the amount of space this is now taking up, yeah, it's just adding that extra value just yep. by looking bigger. Yeah, and there we have our simple dinosaur design in the Jurassic period. I can see the camera. Hello, <laughs> that's huge. I love it. Is that is that fully Doctor Bob? Could it be any more Doctor Bob? It could Bobbed? be. It could be much more Doctor Bob. How, how are we going to Doctor Bob? How are we going to Doctor Bob it further? Well, I have pre-prepared stuff. Have you? Yes, oh, indeed. If you so look over you there, have. yes. As in Magic TV, we have, as you said, the prehistoric ferns, which we can. I'll just place them into position for now. Oops, a daisy. Here we go. You just put them in any old wet oh. arm. We've just put them in a the gap, and we can glue these into position. Oops, a daisy. I'm got, uh, I haven't put an attachment on this one. I'm not really bad, we're not really good at this. Okay, and then we could have another one there. So that even adds more value to it again. So, how on earth do you make these? Ah, how do we do? I like that, I really like this, this texture. I mean, this one, I take it is- I've done that in, to show it to Intentionally random. Yeah, yeah. Because that's definitely not Dr. Bobbish. No. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do this now. We take a 160Q. So I'm going to leave myself approximately two inches on the end. Okay. Let some air out and get another one ready. I think we'll start with this one. And all I'm going to do is create a small bubble and another small bubble. Tie them together, mm -hmm. looping that through, and repeat on the opposite side. No. There we go. And squeezing gently every time I do it, roll it round. And if I wanted to, I can create a little bubble on the top there, just to tie that into place. And that's locked lock the top into place then create a another like a half inch bubble there mm -hmm. hold it together and I want to go about a quarter of an inch over and then just that around and basically this one is just repetitive and then just keep doing it yeah and just twist in twist in And eventually, as you go down, you get tighter. So, it's depending on what you're making, you could do them all the same size, yeah. make them much bigger, much smaller, random yeah. like this yeah. one. Because nature is quite random, isn't it? It is. And then, just come back. And we're just doing a gradual increase on this one. And so it keeps going. And there you go. That's a really good little technique. I like that. Yeah. And I guess you could use that for Christmas trees. Yeah. You could use that and then change the colour and use it for... What else could you use it for? 
um, go. on the spot on the spot paddles Pad oh yeah, yeah very good tails for dinosaur yeah oh yeah I wings it's almost spiky isn't it wings as well oh wow okay yeah, yeah that's great well dr bob thank you so much I, do, Pleasure. I don't think we need to do any more no that's it yeah. that's that you eventually get something like this or one of the more or one of the more elaborate ones. ones yeah but um that is brilliant again adding value is just yeah. just key the, the more complicated this. it goes and the more expensive yeah. it goes but yeah. you can add as we've just shown you there add simple things yeah dr bob thank you so much for thank that. you indeed um oh question of the week question of the you week another one. Oh, let me have a little think now um What's the most expensive thing you've ever made? Oh, yes. So what you've charged the most for? For, yes. So what's the piece of work that you've charged the most for? Leave your answers down below on Facebook and on YouTube. I suppose you can put pictures. I think you can do that on Facebook, yeah. not on YouTube, but put links and things like whatever you like. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>